So I'm gonna close my chat room. Okay. It's great. So all ready to start? Okay, great. Um, I think it's time to start now. So hi everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Jung Hyun Ju. I'm very nice to meet you all online. Um, thank you very much for having me here for IMWC by um, Seoul National University, Korean Music Department. Um, I'm very glad to give you a talk and share my words um, at here today. And I would also love to uh, listen to your ideas as well um, in this talk. So I left the Zoom link where you could join the talk directly with your voice or with the chats. So um, on the YouTube comment, so please feel free to interrupt me anytime um, if you have any questions or comments. Okay, so I'm going to start my screen share from now. Okay, you could all see my screen. Okay, great. Um, so before I go into the talk beyond the institution, body, I will have to talk a little bit of myself and about my background. Um, as many of you know well or not know well about me, um, it's okay. Um, I'm a Hegum performer and a composer. Um, the Hegum is a two-stringed Korean instrument and I started my musical career as a Hegum performer. So I could say I'm more I'm more um, close to the composer rather than a composer, um, more close to the performer rather than a composer right now. But yeah, um, as you could see, actually, I'm a classically academically trained performer and also an ardent advocate of contemporary music as well. Um, so recently, I'm doing my own research project supported by a grant from Arts Council Korea and also working with living composers with my ensemble as well. And I will be starting the DMA in Performer Composer Program at CalArts this fall. So anyway, I perform, improvise, and compose, and collaborate. Um, so for me, both performing and composing, like which includes um, improv improvisation and collaboration, are all the types of extending and specifying my idea from a small point that I was curious about. So um, from now, I'm going to share my work process and share some idea developments regarding the theme institutionalized body I have done so far. Um, so... Again, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them on the YouTube chat or just join directly um, with the Zoom. Okay. Um, jumping into the body um, right now. So those keywords are my current interests as a performer composer. So. I've played the heaven for more than 10 years, like almost 15 years so far, which means I have been practicing the Hegum almost every day for more than 10 years. So naturally, um, I was curious about the process of exercise and how this process makes um, someone institu institutionalizing the performance techniques or um, a performance performer's body, um, that kind of things. Uh, so in this context, the exercise or the practice term um, I am interested in is not only uh, just a technical exercise such as bowing or fingering, but also includes um, different types or like different um, aspects of um, exercise which performers or musicians do, such as like breathing or interacting or sometimes listening or like, or like refining your muscles, um, et cetera. Um, right now, before I go deeper into those concepts and my ideas, and also we have um, in this Zoom, I have my wonderful collaborators I have worked so far, um, the Yi Gyeong and Sang Bin Lee. So we'll, we'll have some discussions with them um, as well at the last part of my uh, talk. So 
let's see my performance uh, first, and then we could continue. Um, so last year, I, I made a performance for Solo Hegum um, Electronics video, um, stage, stage design and light design. Um, it was a like performance piece um, collaborated with many artists. Um, this was a result of my three year research on this exercise or Yonsip in Korean. Um, so Alf Wilfert first see the video fragments and some still cuts I've used for the performance. And then we can go to the um, final performance of this piece. So those this was a still cut of that performance that you could see the muscles or like the raw skin and some like some tensions in the performer of the performer. So I took those kind of pictures a lot uh, for the performance. And then we can see this um, video first. There's no sound, just focus on looking at the performance movements of the muscles, the, sh sh um, the shoulders, the bones. And in the perform uh, in the, the in, at the piece, um, this was extremely zoomed at the extremely big, huge screen. very slowly moving. And the next one, I have the sound as well. Guess what I'm doing here. So those were the process of the piece. And then from now we're gonna see um, the final piece of this exercise. Um, this was an almost an hour long piece. So we, so we are today, um, we're just um, watching the excerpts. And um, so yeah, this was a final output. Um, this was developed with my, um, close collaborators, um, Lee Kyung Lee on composition and co-concept development with me, and Hyun Min Lee on the video, and Jae Ho Yoon on projection mapping, and Na Kyung Shin on stage design, and Pyong Gu Kim on light design, and also our co-theater staffs on all the arrangements together. So first we are gonna watch the first and second movement named measurement, it's the first movement and observation uh, was the second movement. So it starts with a very continuous um, light noise in tempo and gradually changes. So let's take a look at it.
sorry that it doesn't sound well on the um, screen share. So I'm gonna do this, play this again. Sorry. And then I'm gonna play again the piece from the top. Thank you for letting me know. Um, so it's all working well here. coming out continuously. Parts would represent some points which I thought as a beyond what is beyond the institutionalized body, on which I'm going to talk later. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into the second movement with uh, which is the name was the observation point. Of the first movement. 
and it ends with the sound with mouse. Okay, and we will continue to the second and third movement, the ops, um, observation, construct, and resonance. It was a um, continuing movement. So. starts with the breathing. Electronics and live breathing at, at the same time. dark but you could see the screen my collarbones and mouth nose things coming out so this is a traditional sanjo which is deeply imbi embodied in my body and mind um, will be changed into with some breathing sounds. Many of them now. Like a Hegel to me, cousins on Tongan again. 처음부터 주어진 깊이를 잃는 것이었다. 그러므로 전통음악은 사실은 나에게 여러 소리 중 하나였고 그 깊이들의 의미를 모른 채 되어가는 과정에서 얻어진 선물들은 나를 하나의 공통의 감각의 세계에 들어가게 하였고 그것이 나를 현재 전통음악 연주자라고 불리는 위치에 있게 하였다. 기표는 기회를 담고 있지만 또한 항상 그것을 잃고 수생하는 몸이 있다는 것을 가정한다. 
Yeah, and this was the um, program and some still images of that concert. And so from now, I, I can share that how this project and how this works um, was gradually developed from 2017. So actually, um, at first, um, when I was really into this theme um, exercise, I actually focused on some extended techniques as on you know ardent advocate of contemporary music i was really into those kind of um, challenging techniques or like um, practicing those um, extended techniques so my first first intention was to actually write a series of systemic exercises for the hegum just focusing on the contemporary techniques like but as i um make a progress on my research, I thought, well, um, um, the extended techniques are not the problem, maybe. Um, so I must take the th this theme, some exercise, the techniques, or the physicality, or the body, those kind of themes more seriously um, by ex examining some historical or like current context of instructional materials for the Hegem. So why those people are playing or why those techniques that I have are, why are there and why are they developed like this until now? Um, that was my first um, curious point um, as I pr um, developed my projects. So Oh, maybe I have to examine those kind of um, materials. So it developed into two papers. You can read on the um, Korean um, research paper website, something like that. And those are the papers. And that, that was the actually the actual um, etudes for the Hegem that I wrote in 2017. It's kind of a, I'm not proud of it. I'm not that satisfied with, but it, those were all the process of developing this idea onto exercise. But yeah, but finally, my questions has extended like this. Um, so those questions are the questions which directly inspired me when developing the projects with collaborators. And also those, I hope those sources were at the um, piece that you have uh, seen right now. Um, so my first question was, why do I practice or why do we practice? What is the purpose? And number two was that, what is the cultural or social specificity that constructs the role of the body in musical performance, especially in, in terms of the Hagen performance? Like there were a lot of environments and cultural background or social um, backgrounds that are around um, my Hagen techniques and performances. So I thought I should examine that and I should be aware or like I should have my idea on those backgrounds and some specificity that um, um, defines um, my performance of the Hegum. And also, as I progressed my research on exercise, I felt that those process of exercise contribute toward institu institutionalizing one's performance technique. Like they have some way and they have some rules and they have some good sound, bad sound. They have some good techniques, bad techniques that social or um, the society or the history um, define that kind of things uh, by accumulating those data. So does a process of exercise contribute toward institutionalizing one's performance techniques? So if so, how did it, how do they contribute to them? So that was, that was my um, question also. And finally, so what is beyond? So beyond the institutionalized body. So if I am an institutionalized performer and if I am an academically um, trained performer, what's beyond that? So those questions were the questions directly in, um, inspired and like affected the performance and some development of 
the exercise piece. So hope you um, hope you find or hope you um, found some some sources or some points um, at the performance um, right now. And th this was also one of the still cuts and some videos that I, that I have used. Like, so I started to um, zoom and focus really on very small movements of the muscles or like some physicality itself of the performer. I mean, in my physicality of my body and the physicality of Hegum as well. And also at the first part, um, at the very first part, I play the traditional scale, um, which is also deeply embodied in my body and mind in an extremely slow tempo with the um, continuously um, produ producing uh, white noise in an extremely, I, although I started in a very slow and very quiet, but it went to some um, somewhere so it became extremely noisy way and also um, you can edit some also field recordings on that um, which were taken from the several environments around the performer and around the Hagem and also that's why the specific parts of the body um, used for playing the Hagem was zoomed like extremely zoomed um, at the screen it, um, in the performance and lastly, I like to mention shortly about another ap approach um, to the exercise. Um, actually, this piece was also developed, um, co-developed with um, the Kayagum player, Nayong Park, and Komungo player, Jongmin Park. And it was more like a, a musical approach, like um, traditional musical approach to the term exercise or the um, activity of exercising. So I, um, it came out with this very simple question that what would happen if I add several, several unexpected bodily movements um, or techniques while maintaining the institutionalized or fixed flow of the kagok? Because, um, sorry, because kagok is um, very fixed and institutionalized form which represents which represents the um, traditional um, scholar's music, I have to say. Um, it's a vocal music genre, but anyway, let's take a listen first, and then let's talk more about it. So it's just intro. have the synchronized movement of their arm and body.
So this was also an experiment on embodied techniques of the traditional string performers and also some embodied techniques plus extended techniques um, experiment um, on with the traditional cargo rhythmic pattern. So the score is like was like this. Um, was notated in the traditional Chongganpo but sometimes I just wrote the techniques um, that performers share. So if you, um, you could see, uh, as you could see, they really share the same techniques together and they like synchronize their movements together. But musically, it's kind of, a, those techniques are very interrupting um, those traditional flow of the kago. This. Yeah, and those were my work presentations. And I would also love to hear from my collaborators as well. And just feel free to ask any questions, not only about this um, this topic, but like if you have any questions on the Hegum or about me or anything, I would love to hear. And please also share your ideas as well um, about those works and some new ideas on the Hegum and body. So I guess there is some latency between the Zoom and the YouTube. So I'm going to wait until you guys come in to the Zoom link. And also please leave the comments if you have any questions or comments. And yeah, we have Actually, in the Zoom room, we have Lee Kyung Lee, who directly developed this um, exercise project um, for our last one year um, with me, who is a composer um, living in Germany. And he's also doing a very conceptual works and new works for, um, for diverse kind of instruments and also diverse concepts of music so you could join and you could add some your um, opinion on this work exercise maybe so I can stop my sharing the um, sharing the screen and you guys can mute or unmute yourselves, right? Or the administrator have to let you unmute the things, maybe? It was a one hour performance and it's a one hour talk. So like, I, of course I've, I've missed other points um, on those, ex on the exercise, perf exercise performance as well. So maybe you can add some um, comments or your ideas. I'm extremely accustomed to waiting in silence. So anybody can just um, jump into the Zoom room or leave the comments on the YouTube. Oh, so there is, what was your main purpose of composition of Etu? What did you want to practice and any further plans for additional composition? Oh, thank you. Um, actually, this attitude project will be ongoing project um, for a long, long time. So I'm still, and I am very into the extended techniques of the Hegum. So of course I will continue developing my 
um, practice on those challenging techniques or like um, finding for new sounds in the hegum or for the hegum. Um, especially, yeah, you can sound in, you can um, elaborate about some um, technique issues of the hegum, um, like, it, like for harmonics or overpressure, um, which is a very characteristic techniques of the hegum. Yeah. And also you guys could just say in Korean as well. Yeah. And also, yes, I do have my further plans for additional composition, but I am very um, hesitating. Um, do I have to say hesitating? Yes. Um, yeah, hesitating. Like, is it right or like, do I have to write an uh, etude for those techniques? Because I already said those kind of um, technique things or some of those kind of some um, etude things already um, contributed to in institutionalizing one's body or like one's performance techniques. So I think I have to approach in more uh, complex perspective on those etude, like what kind of etudes could finally give us a freedom on technique or some flexibility on the technique. I, I don't want to fix anything um, on the performance or or the techniques of the hegum. So yeah, that's that's also my um, big project as well. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions, just let me know and I'm going to wrap up um, my talk then. Um, let's see. Sorry for the noise. So I want to finish my talk with a quote from Zhang Rick Nancy's um, corpus. Um, text. It's like a uh, um, Nancy is a philosopher, a French philosopher. Um, I've also Yu um, Li also introduced this text to me, and we were inspired a lot from his text about body. Um, it's those quotes are from the fifty eight indices on the body chapter, and he writes. Um, about how, what is our body and how our body is working kind of things. So you can read this one. And also I want to finish my lecture with this quote. And thank you for joining all of you today. And if you have any further questions or comments or collaboration suggestions, I would love to hear them. Just email me or, or just message me and you could visit my website as well. And thank you all for joining today. Bye.